Now I invite you into a time of prayer, reflection, meditation. This is a chance to simply be. I invite you to shut any tabs that you have open and shut down anything else that you're doing as you listen to this and simply take a moment to remember that there's always a gift there waiting for us when we remember to take it, the gift of a fresh breath. I invite you to receive that breath now. Just deepen into where you are sitting and to feel the support of the chair or the couch or the bed or wherever you are to feel that your body is being supported just as your breath is being supported. As you breathe, you are being breathed. It's something we don't have to put on our to-do list. We don't have to work at it. We simply Breathe. The Dalai Lama says, no matter what our faith, we each worship at the temple of our own heart. And knowing our own heart is so important. So I invite you now into this time of deep honesty to see your heart, to see how it appears, how it feels, to deepen in and to look out at the far horizon of your heart, becoming aware that all of our hearts are connected and that they are infinitely large. Within our hearts, we have room to hold all of those who need holding, starting with ourselves, with all of our doubts and questions, all of our loneliness, however we arrive today, May we know that we are always held in our own hearts. And then moving out to this community, may this community be held in the heart of love as people struggle with health concerns and medical prognosis and chronic pain, as people work hard to care for children and elders and partners and friends and ourselves. May we all be held in the heart of love. And moving into this bigger community, all of those who are in prison, the 600 prison members of the Church of the Larger Fellowship, but all of those who in prison may feel that they are forgotten, that no one remembers them. We invite them into our hearts knowing that no matter what we do, there is still a chance for love. There is still an opportunity for breath, no matter who we are. No matter how imperfect, we are held by our breath. I invite you now to lift up all of those who are in other kinds of prisons, prisons of addiction, prisons of depression, anxiety, prisons of loneliness, prisons of grief, letting go of people maybe who have died and maybe whom we simply can't connect with even in the next room. We lift up all who live with violence, violent homes, violent streets, violent communities, violent nations. We lift up especially those who suffer violence at the hands of those who should care for them and protect them, parents and spouses, police officers, and others whose duty is to care, and yet who somehow become perpetrators we lift up our concern and our love for those who are hurt, who are oppressed. We lift up our joy for all of those who have new opportunities, new learning, new ways to put our gifts into the world, whether for money or not for money. And for all of those who struggle with money, may we remember that no one can take our worth away. Our worth and dignity are inherent they are not tied to a paycheck or an evaluation. They are always within every single human being. As we sit in the heart of love, we feel its enormity, we feel our own strength and courage, and we feel the healing of compassion and acceptance. No matter who we are, no matter how we feel, may we all be held in the heart of love.